The weather outside is frightful, but the 2024 RVs are delightful. Today on Great Places Seen, it's a visit to the longest running indoor RV show. Let's walk around the floor. We're sure to score. Perhaps nothing makes us appreciate warm summers like a little snow. Since 1968, the Pittsburgh RV Show has been warming dreams of traveling the country or finding a perfect remote getaway with the convenience of your own rig. The David L. Lawrence Convention Center has two floors packed with the newest RVs. Yeah, the same ones you'll find at the largest super shows elsewhere. It's an easy drive and easy parking at this event. That sign is a little ironic at an RV show, don't you think? No matter, it's a short walk inside. The trend this year is small, so I've heard. I'm taking quick looks at mostly under 25 foot options, although I'll peek at a few larger rigs too. Oh yeah, there's a lot to see. So many of the trailers here are built by Forest River. The first floor seems dominated by them. This 36-foot model has three slides. And it's a king size bed. Measure it at 66 by 78. More storage underneath. These jackknife out into a bed. What is behind the door? Ah, it's a bathroom. This is a very heavy duty plastic shower curtain, which of course you can always replace with a glass door if you like very spacious area here in the back. Bunk beds, storage, a couch that will jackknife out into a bed, and they measured well so you could fit four with these little cubby boxes in there in two rows and a few more down below. This is like the ultimate kids playroom back here. I don't know what gave it away. And I walked right past it coming in it's even got a fireplace. Well, aren't they all? This 43-foot fifth wheel is more than I would ever tow. It's impressive with four slide-outs, a double queen bed, double bunk loft, island kitchen with theater seating, even seating in the bathroom. You can put a washer dryer in here if you like. Let's try going up the ladder. Oh yeah. Rear entry. Freestanding chairs. I'm seeing a lot of those.
almost could double as another room. We have some side stairs. What could be up here? Well, of course, it's a loft. I wouldn't mind this part. This 41-foot trailer has a 99-inch interior height, also a stainless steel kitchen. I'm 5'11", and you can see how much headroom there is above me. I can't even touch the ceiling. Twenty-two feet is more my size. Murphy bed up front. A dinette, which of course can be converted into a sleeping area. Compact kitchen, but it has everything you need. Nice large refrigerator and corner bunk beds in the back. So you actually get a little extra room utilizing the angle of the corner. And in the opposite corner, you have a very spacious bathroom. 3,749 pounds, a generous 43 gallon fresh tank, 30 each gray and black. Uh, got a huge lighted outdoor awning. <laughs> 20 feet and under 3,000 pounds. Very simple with a platform bed. Freestanding table. Two burner stove. Rear bunks and a basic bathroom. It's a good starter unit. Also 20 feet, a slightly different configuration. Also with a queen bed, and like the others, under 3,000 pounds. 43 gallon fresh tank with 30 gray and 30 black. These collapsible tables are nice because they're not fixed, which means you can take them outside if you like or move them anywhere in the trailer. Fold them up, get them out of the way. Here's 36 feet with a view, both inside and out. It strikes me as a giant fishbowl. Here's an unusual compartment. It's almost like what you would see on a train. One of the shades serves as a huge projection screen. Electric shades. This timber wolf is a monster. Look at this. Looks like a small mobile home, a tiny home. You may have already seen this in RV magazines or at another show. Still quite impressive. First level has a huge refrigerator. You can wash your clothes. 
Very large bathroom. That's a queen bed. There's a small fireplace up in the loft. The one thing it lacks is aerodynamics. It must make for quite an interesting ride down the road. 28 feet long, 13 feet 6 inches tall. At 31 feet, it's a little long for me but I really like this floor plan. Check this out. Oh, it's very wide. Super spacious in here when you have the slide out. My goodness. You could have a dance party in here. And the owner's bedroom is up front. As they say, rear living. Bathroom configuration is divided. So you get the full width of the trailer. But you can close the door to the bathroom and you can close the door to the rear living area. There's a mini. We're all pretty familiar with. and very familiar configuration from Winnebago. Here's a tiny light trailer. Freshwater capacity is 31 gallons, just 12 gallons each for gray and black. There are lots of storage areas, and the two twin beds can make one king bed. And there, the glass door, is the wet bath. Four feet longer at 3,300 pounds, the E-Pro E19BH also has 31 gallons fresh, but more than double for gray and black at 27 gallons each. This is a more traditional layout compared to the 15-foot model. The EPRO E16BH is now discontinued. It does have a good basic layout, and obviously there are 2023 models still available, likely for some good clearance deals. The TV is right as you come in the door. Very compact, but it's got everything. Great for kids, obviously. The bunks are in the very back here. And your bathroom. Looks like two floor living. 
actually, it's just a big ceiling. Your other transportation needs, and if you need to, a walking stick. That's the most basic transportation right there. Does it have a dinette that can jackknife into a bed? Mm, probably not. That kind of puts me to sleep. Oh, food. What could be in the barrel? It's pickles. Here's where you can check out a lot of the different campgrounds in the Pennsylvania region and elsewhere across the country. Where would you like to go? Check out Pennsylvania State Parks and my 2023 episodes on Laurel Hill and Gifford Pinchot State Park. to call the origami trailer. It folds down to the line that you see along the wall and folds up and out, especially the models like this one that have a huge dormer in them. You get a lot of extra headroom in there and it really adds to the sense of spaciousness. Yep, got a toilet. Also available with a 185 watt solar panel. Like some of the others, this has a collapsible table, so you can use it in any position within your A-liner or take it outside. This Clipper 9000 is 14 feet and 1500 pounds. It has 200 watts of solar, a six gallon water heater, a microwave, and a cassette toilet. As you would expect, super compact. The 12,000 has similar amenities and is 600 pounds heavier. Do watch your clearance for the AC on the driver's side. There's a big awning and off-road tires. Feels larger. Surprising amount of storage space underneath. This one comes with a river view. You know, now I'm feeling hungry for some reason. Swedish fish. Yeah. Have a seat. Hiding in plain sight is the Keystone Hideout, a basic 21-foot trailer with 21 gallons freshwater capacity, 30 gray, and 32 black. It weighs in at just over 3,700 pounds. Very basic, just to get you out there. I think I once saw this in a Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue.
At 15 feet and 3,500 pounds, Encore's Survival Series comes packed with options to tame the harshest backcountry locations. The 12BH has 27 gallons of fresh water available, and with the power-up package, it provides a 100 amp hour lithium battery with 200 watts solar and two more battery trays to keep everything going off-grid. You can also get an impressive roof rack system. Plenty of LED lighting inside and out. I think that may have been winterized. What do you think? It has a nice huge bat wing awning. Look how much larger it makes this look. Inside, Spartan. Well, that's probably all you want for something like this. The 12RK boosts off-grid capabilities beyond the impressive packages available with 43 gallons of fresh water. This Sunset Park Sunray is a mini toy hauler and a camper with an outside kitchen, awning and inside kitchenette. Literally, the toilet is in the closet. Well, if it had lights, you could see it, but it's just a toilet in the closet. There's a bed that drops down. It's just 15 feet, 2,780 pounds, with 26 gallons fresh, 24 black. Viking, I'm told, is the fastest growing RV brand over the past year. The 20-foot Saga comes in at just under 4,000 pounds with 27 gallons each for fresh gray and black. A basic but tidy interior keeps the price down. Viking says it's focused on price and options at towing three, four, five, and six thousand pounds. This Sunday Sport has a throwback feel with modern amenities that we all expect on a trailer. It's just 15 feet, 2260 pounds, with 22 gallons fresh, 28 black. This interesting retro wood trim even on the ceiling. It's a little tight sitting behind this big table. But it has a surprising amount of room in here. It has aggressive tires a big awning too. Well, look what we have here. I found new camp. Full disclosure, I'm a satisfied 2022 Tab 400 owner, so I won't gush over these too much. New Camp has made significant upgrades for 2024, notably up to 620 watt solar with a 100 amp hour lithium battery. This is the Dynat version. You can also get one with a bunk bed. The Tab 320 is the best-selling New Camp model. Very nice upgrades as well. Fifteen feet, three thousand pounds, one hundred eighty watts of solar. Very well built with custom Amish wood cabinetry.
Our pod is a worthy competitor. This one at 20 feet, 3,163 pounds, 30 gallons each, fresh gray and black. It has 500 watt solar, lithium battery, and a 3,000 watt inverter. The interior is adequate, very basic, with a dry bath. Sure, outdoor kitchens are nice, but this one has what's really important, right? I've come across a 45-foot Brinkley fifth wheel luxury toy hauler. It's a nice water filtration system in there. Huge underneath. It's essentially a very well-appointed 25-foot rig, with the rest devoted to plenty of storage. Thor showed a lot of Class C's here. And the Quantum at 31 feet with two slides, 40 gallons fresh, 37 gray, and 34 black. Lots of room, plenty of living options within. It's larger in here than you might think. That's a king bed there. Lots of storage space. It's very impressive for a Class C. Maybe it's a B? can't afford the really big one, or well, maybe you can get this. Pittsburgh 24 had something for everyone. If you were thirsty, looking for two wheels, four wheels, Well, no wheels. These look ready to drop into the river outside. Should be a little tough to fit on your rig. Maybe on the roof. That's a slice of what's out there. Thanks for coming along for a very quick look inside at what you'll find to help get your adventures on the road. And be sure to follow GPS to the next destination.